Hello my friends. Today I'm going to be working on my drawing number 17 for Inktober. And I think for today what I'd like to do is something a little bit different. I do have something here with me as my inspiration. I went to a I went to a powwow recently. So it was actually just a couple of weeks ago. And I ended up getting this from one of the vendors there. I just thought it was so lovely. It has all these feathers on it. And I think that's what I'd like to draw today is some kind of drawing with some feathers. I just love all these little patterns that it has on here. And so I'm going to just start off by sketching out some feather shapes and then we'll kind of draw and doodle inside of those. So I think that's what we're going to be doing today. I know it seems like it's a fairly simple thing, but I think when it comes to drawing, anything could be as simple or as complicated as we want it to be. So how about we get started? I'm going to move these aside. I think I have a general idea of what I'm going to do with this. <clears throat> okay. So for my, my page here, I think I'd like to maybe go in a little closer for starters so we can see a little better. And um, I think that as far as the tools that I'm going to use, I'm only going to just use a pencil. So I've just got a simple pencil and I'm just going to use one pen. I know that sometimes I end up using a whole lot of different pens and markers, but I just want to stick to the one pen. This, I'll provide a link. Some of you I know have told me you already bought these. It's just a simple, it's got like some liquid ink inside. They're kind of cheap and, or I shouldn't say cheap. They are inexpensive and uh, I like them a lot. I like getting them a lot. So let's go ahead and get started with the pencil part here. <clears throat> and so what I'm just going to do is sketch out a few shapes here. And actually momentarily I'm going to change the orientation here just because that's actually the direction in which this will eventually be be um, displayed basically. So I'm going to go ahead and just start here and I'm going to make a what would a, this be called? I I'm, I want to call it a stem but I know it isn't a stem if anybody knows. This is the the part here where all of the little hairs are kind of attached. So I'm just going to start with that one and in a second I will move on to actually drawing inside of here. So I'm just sketching the shape. With the feathers it tends to be more straight like this. I know there are feathers that are shaped differently but for it to be recognized as a feather you kind of want to make these these angular shapes like this. And I'm going to draw uh, I think a couple more here. I'd like to have a few more. Let me go ahead and put one here. probably about that far. And again, kind of angular. Kind of like that. <clears throat> I need to cut it off about right here. Something like that. And I think I'd like to add another one to my sketch right here somewhere. It's going to be a little smaller. So how about that? here and again same thing kind of like that kind of angular and we'll use that as a foundation all right so that looks pretty good <coughs> let's see I guess the thing I want to know is if I'm going to work on it this way or this way so I am going to do a little bit of rotation just to see what I'm comfortable with I think this this is pretty good right here I think I'll work with this this direction. Okay, so let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit again so we can get going here. Alright, so with this one, this one here, let's start with that one. Kind of turn it this way. Again, I'm just going to work with the one pen. The thing here that I know I most definitely want to keep is this part again. I'll probably need to look up to see what it is called. 
So I'm just going to go in and start by making this part. Just this. And I think that as we draw here, I would like to share with you a little story, a little experience that might sound familiar or might sound like something you've gone through. And, uh, and maybe we can have a chat about this because I think it's something that's really important to those of us as we create. I would like to let you know that I am going to start at the top here. I will start by, by drawing designs from the top and I'm kind of going to head down down this way. So that's what you'll see me do. Let's see, and I think I'd like to just start by making a shape here like this and like this. I'm going to start making little little shapes there where it it kind of gets separated. Okay, so as I do that, I was thinking that in particular for this for this drawing, I really wanted to draw these feathers because I actually have a... I love feathers so much. I know a lot of us do. They're so very lovely. But I, I have this weird thing where even though I love this design so much, I stay away from it for some reason. I'm, it's almost like I'm afraid to draw it. And I actually have a very particular reason for that very very specific reason why I stay away and I don't like that reason so uh, I had a conversation some time ago actually not that long ago where I was talking to someone in the family somebody I know and we were just talking about art and I was trying to encourage her to draw with me you know kind of this the the thing that I do here when I'm when I'm here with you, I mean, I'm encouraging you to, to draw art. I'm encouraging all of you to have some fun. I was doing the same for her, but we were in person. We were sitting, sitting by each other, just chatting. And I remember telling her that I was just so impressed that I saw this other artist who drew, or in, actually painted, painted these beautiful, beautiful watercolor feathers. That's all it was, just feathers. They were watercolor. I loved it so much. And for whatever reason, this person that I was talking to, when as soon as I told her that, she said, that's it? Just feathers? And I just, my mind just stopped. I just stopped. And I couldn't, I couldn't understand why she would say that to me. Why would she say, why would she think it odd that I was impressed by just feathers and I couldn't I felt so awful just then I actually I actually was thinking of showing her my version of those feathers that I had that I had painted but you know after having heard a reaction like that why would I want to share why would I want to do any kind of sharing after that you know and since then, I know it's not a big deal. You know, I'm an adult, and so is she, and we're allowed to have our own opinions about things. But I feel that sometimes, and probably not us, those of us who are artists tend to understand a little better, it, sometimes we receive uh, kind of comments and sort of judgmental messages from people who really don't seem to understand that when we talk about this kind of thing, when we talk about art, it's it's very, very important to us. At least I know it's important to me. And so even though I, I brought up someone else's artwork, even though I wasn't talking about my own artwork, it really, really bothered me that someone else whom I thought and trusted that would understand art and would understand just how important it is. It really bothered me that she she called it oh just feathers as if somehow as if somehow drawing feathers was lesser than some other art forms. And of course I won't say who this person specifically was, but all I can say is that she didn't really make much art herself she was capable of doing it and that's why I was trying to encourage her to kind of sit with me and make some art because I cared about her 
but she never really made art, so I also kind of was thinking, well, who are you to to place judgment? Make it make it sound like feathers are nothing nothing great to paint. Like, well, what's better than feathers? What could somebody paint? Should I paint dragons? Should I paint? You're like, what do you what do you think is better? I don't know, and it just bothered me so much. I think probably because I cared a lot about her, and I thought that maybe we could we could have a good relationship around art and such. But I guess she just maybe she wasn't thinking about what she was saying. But ever since then, every time I have the urge, like I just want to draw some feathers. I I just think about what she said and, and for whatever reason it just like it stops me. And I just think, no, I'm I'm not gonna do it and isn't it strange? It's so strange, isn't it? The way the mind kinda of betrays us, even though we know we know what we want. We know what we want. I know I want to draw something like this, but something stops me. Something tells me, no no, just move on. Make something better, my mind says. So it's almost like that person influenced me. They don't really know just how much they influenced me. They just don't know. And so now, every time that I wish I could, I could make this, uh, just that little nagging feeling comes back. But then I remind myself, there's so many things that I draw that are just even simpler, you know? I draw just circles. I draw just curvy lines. I, I draw lots of things that are very, very simple. And then in my own way, I make them, I make them special. That's my choice. I choose to make them special. And so, I, th I think in particular, I wanted to share that experience as tiny and some almost meaningless as it could have been. It became, it became something that lodged itself in my mind. And I know that I've heard stories from so many of you that when you were children, when you were just little tiny proto-humans, when you were just developing, there was probably some horrible person who told you to not make art. Someone who told you something that just stuck with you. And those words linger, don't they? Because I know I'm an adult right now, and even what she said just kind of hurt. It really did entirely stop stop the the conversation. I'll tell you that much. When somebody you trust just goes and says something that kind of hurts that way, and and of course I'm moving past it, and it wasn't like I said, not a big deal. But it kind of puts those relationships and those ideas and puts a lot of things in a under a new light, you know? It changes things. And so it's the kind of things that I feel kind of drive me right now as I'm doing the the uh, Inktober challenge. And again, this is drawing number 17 for me. I'm just kind of drawing whatever I want. Each day that approaches, each day that I add another drawing to the set, I think about just the negative comments. I think about all the things that happened over the years. Maybe somebody just saying something that they didn't realize was going to hurt. Something that they thought might even encourage me to do better, but it's, you know, doesn't always do that, does it? And sometimes we wish we could be stronger. I know I do. I wish I could just let those things roll off. Wouldn't that be wonderful? But I think for so many of us, art is a way to kind of cope and deal with some things that we might have going on. And then when somebody comes along and just kind of, you know, rains on your parade, kind of, in a way, it just really sends things going in the wrong direction, so... For me, this feather today is just a little reminder. I think it's a little reminder to myself to just just make whatever I want to make. Just let it be. Let these things exist.
and, uh, and to try not to worry so much about what other people are saying even though I can get a little bit caught up in it sometimes the good thing is I'm not a child anymore I don't have to uh, as strange of a, of a sentence as that is I do recall many times when I was very young and people said some things that were not very supportive and it's very nice to not be in that in that situation anymore don't have to rely on anybody else's approval and the truth is we never did need people's approval it's just when we're young it's really hard to uh, it's really really hard to keep going when people say those kind of things so if if that was you if you were one of those people who who was told something awful if you're one of those people who who's still dealing with that kind of thing and you're trying to rediscover your art I'm here for you I'm definitely here for you here I am making the things that I thought I wasn't ever going to make and uh, I know you can do it too I know that you can definitely free yourself from any of those negative comments that you received and uh, so here we go these are my feathers these are my own personal little reminders for today that everything's gonna be fine and that even when people say things that are not so well thought out we can still go ahead and be creative we can let these things come to life so here are my feathers I hope that you kinda drew along as I made these like I said I started from the top and went down now one thing that you can do when you're making these I'll show you very quickly is I would suggest going into each one of these segments and you can doodle lots of little patterns in there I'm still not entirely sure if I'm going to doodle patterns in there but definitely if you if you are already a doodler if you are a, in any way kind of fussy you can go ahead and just draw little lines in there or draw lots of doodles you can use your favorite Zentangle patterns but this is the essentially the foundation for that this is it this is how we can do that so I'm going to let this sit for a bit and start thinking about what I want to do with it if I want to do anything to the background I think it kinda looks nice a little simple like this I can finally enjoy my feathers so I hope that you you enjoy this one you make your own feathers and I hope to see you again very soon I am going to move on and continue doing my drawings for Inktober hopefully get them all done bye I'll see you all very soon